Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV and before you even begin to watch this video if you are new to my channel just go ahead and click that subscribe button now and turn on your bells because we are always dropping these videos. Now today I will be showing you guys how to melt a lace and today's hair is provided by Modern Show Hair. They did send over this beautiful straight wig and I absolutely love this wig. It was super, super soft and super, super pretty and this, the hairline was super easy to actually pluck and the knots bleached quickly, easy with no problem absolutely loved it so all i did was just do a little bit more plucking and now i'm actually going to install this wig on my little sister today now as you can see from this thumbnail this will be a center part installation with light baby hairs and when i tell you guys i absolutely loved this install I absolutely loved it and i also brought to you a new technique that i have been trying out and i absolutely love it so we will get more into that um shortly now i did go ahead and use that ruby kisses foundation on the top of the lace and under the lace this um underneath that lace as well and now i'm just going to go ahead and begin to apply my layers of that bold hole active and then i will get more into details once it's time to lay down that lace
now that i have applied all four layers i'm going to go ahead and pull that lace down into that glue and just make sure that you do pass where your cap is that way that will also give you uh, more natural results now um pull it down and have them hold each side that is the best way to get your lace to get stuck into that glue before you actually begin the melting process so first things first i am going to go ahead and as usual just take my comb and my blow dryer on the heat setting and blow dry that lace into that glue really really good um, on both sides you just want to comb those hairs sideways downward straight back just to so, you know just to make sure that that um glue is really melted into that lace and once you do the one what you do to one side you want to make sure you do it to the other as well now the new technique that i've been trying and i actually love the way it works is i have taking um, you can use the bed head or that bio silk and I spray it right on top of that hairline after blow drying it in with that glue. And what I noticed with this method, um, it also helps with the melting process. And um, what I like to do now is when I do this step, I like to, when I do the steps this way, when it comes to like that second step of melting the lace, I'll just use my Nairobi's foam mousse and just tie that down with that elastic band to give it a, you know, to make sure that it still gives you that nice secure hold. And this also allows the melt to look even, even more melted. Like the, the results I achieved with doing this new technique was just like amazing. And it also leaves you with less to glue down um, once you actually begin to cut that extra lace off. So I really want my beauties to go ahead and try out this technique and let me know how it works for you. Uh, did you find it a little bit easier, better? Just, you know, let me know. And as you can see, that lace is stuck. And now I'm going to actually go ahead and begin to cut off that extra lace. And because the hairstyling spray does like, you know, drop down a little bit, more of it will be stuck, but you just gently uh, lift it and cut away that extra lace like you see me doing here so i would just do this um on both sides and then i will come back in you know and just tack down the two little pieces that's lifting on the corners and as far as the second step as i mentioned before of the melting process i will go in with my nairobi's mousse and melt that lace right on in because um the truth is you can get a little just a little not too much not to go crazy about like white residue when you do it this way but once you go right in with that mousse it will clear all of that right on up so that's why i did not go in with alcohol to remove it because you don't want to um have that alcohol lifting up you know any of that lace or anything like that so like i mentioned i am going to just go in with the glue on the sides that's lifting because that was really like the only thing that was lifting was right on the sides and once i secured that i will go in with that mousse and also what i want to mention um i'm coming out with a bigger size of the melt bell i'm trying a different different material as well as different thickness so you guys will see me use it here in this video i'm um, just testing things out before i you know you know it's still the same color it's just a different um size it's a way bigger size which can also give you that really really natural pushback look and then it's a different material so i just went ahead and applied that nairobi smooth and i'm just combing everything on back but just be very very gentle when you're doing this step and if the lace does lift just a little bit it's fine because once you tie it down with that material and it dries it will be like brand freaking new and as you can see as i'm removing that elastic band it did like you know pull a little bit so for those who are new to the lacing and you do have any residue of the glue outside of the lace because someone actually dm uh, DM'd me today about that question when you remove that elastic band it should snatch up any extra anything that's outside that hairline because you know 
that's just what you know that's just what it do if something was sticking tight and you lift it up it pulls it off the same way like tape works if you put it on your skin for a minute and you pull it off some of your hairs come off but it does not hurt i guarantee you it does not hurt when you um remove that band and it picks up whatever's extra outside of that lace so you did kind of see like the friction of me pulling it off but it has her lace super super melted and as I mentioned, today we'll be doing a center part. So you see me already have it parted off. And I'm just taking that hot comb and just smoothing everything on out. Um, and like, like you see, it gave the hairline that natural pushback without me having to spray it like that. And that's why I also like this thicker size too as well. Um, so I would just go in between both or whatever. But yeah, so... Right now, what I'm doing is just pulling out thin sections where the baby hairs would lay. At first, I was going to do a no baby hair installation, but I just wanted to do like a light hair baby installation where it's not too, it's not a lot, and it's not like, you know, full. It's just nice and thinner. So what I'm doing is just pulling out basically like my baby hair placement pieces pretty much like I know I wanted to I know where usually where I want the baby hairs to lay and how I want them to lay and I pull the hair out according to like what's in my head and I'm just going to go ahead and continue to smooth out that hair right behind the ear and she can wear this regular just everything to the front or if she want to push it behind her ear she will be able to do so and still have that natural uh, baby hair hairline as well or she can just wear it regular without the hair behind her ear. Either way it goes, honey, it will be laid and slayed. So once you pull those hairs out, just go ahead and cut them down short. And um, I'm just still smoothing everything out because when she pull it behind her ear, I want it to be super smooth, super neat, and super flat. And as far as the baby hairs, I will be using that She Is Bomb Collection all-in-one um, sleigh gel. Um, and it's like a pink hair gel and I just use that to swoop the baby hairs because it dries pretty quickly um, Before I even begin to blow dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead swoop those baby hairs um, Dry it and I did actually do a baby hair going across the center part today um, That was just the look I was going for sometimes I just part it down the middle and just make the baby hair symmetrical on both sides But today I did want to do the across the center swoop. That's just how I was feeling today and I'm um, just, you know, pushing back some of the hair just to keep the baby hairs nice and thin and just smoothing everything on out. So pretty much what I'm doing to this side, I will repeat the same steps to the other side as well. So now that the baby hairs are in place, I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and place it in the middle just to fix those over bleach knots and also to get ready to conceal the part to make everything super, super neat. And as you can see, we're getting very much skin, skin and scalp tease. And I'm just going to, I noticed as I was doing the uh, concealer, it was like a piece of hair that was bothering me, like not in the center. So I did go ahead and fix that out the way. but. Yes, um, once I conceal that part, honey, and I got the little straggly hairs out the way, this install was giving me life. I always do curly hair tutorials on my little sister, so this is actually her first straight, um, straight lace wig installation. She always does like frontal and bundles, pretty much body wave, like everything is always body wave or super, super curly. But, um, I did decide to go with the little straight hair for little sis today. Um, so yeah, this pretty much sums up just install. I'm going to show you, you know, the hair like pretty much finished, just regular. But she can also put it behind her ear as well. It's a very versatile look. And this is actually a lace front. It's a 13 by 4 lace front. Not like a frontal wig, but just a regular lace front. But here is the finishing video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this look. And thank you guys for tuning in to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV.